Welcome back to Time Sweeps. I'm your host, Wyatt. I'm Connor. And I'm Gary. And this week we are talking about how there are two tastes for everything, real and artificial. Let's get into it. And we're back. Okay. So, everybody knows that watermelon tastes like, you know, watermelon. There's not really a good way to describe it. I love how we're starting with the watermelon flavor. Because, to me, that's the biggest. Because that's about, like, my favorite difference. Because I like watermelon candy. But the actual taste of watermelon itself is completely different. Right. And I don't dislike it. It's a texture thing for me with watermelon. I don't dislike You don't like watermelon? watermelon the texture. It's Dude, weird in my mouth. I love odd. watermelon. I think I don't want to hear it. I think if I got like a normal, like a, you know, one of those little watermelons, that's kind of like a size of like a oh, like the cantaloupe sized watermelon. Yeah. I think I could eat that like an apple. I'd pay to see like that. Like green and all, like the whole thing, like the whole rind, the whole rind, all of the like. That's how much I love watermelon. I'd pay to see this happen. Let's make that a video. Let's put that <laughs> on the board. Next time we live stream, so- tune in to watch me eat a whole watermelon this summer. <laughs> This summer. Watch a man face off with a watermelon. I would like to carve watermelons like jack-o'-lanterns. I think that would be fun. Let's talk about some of the most popular artificial tastes. Watermelon. No, like, I'm saying, like, but Jolly, the, Rancher the, the Jolly Rancher is, like, when I think of, like, the best watermelon hard candy. Jolly Rancher. Watermelon Jolly Rancher. So rate your Jolly Ranchers, like, so from worst to best. Worst to best? Worst to best. Give me a second. I have mine. Because I don't... Right away, the it's, worst it's one like listing the is green apple. Backwards. You don't like green apple? Green apple is the worst Jolly Rancher taste. If they could get it out of there... See, that's one of my favorites is the thing. Uh, and then right up after that, I... So up the next four... There's four more, right? The next four I love, but this is the order, is grape. That's the next one. I don't not like grape. The only one I don't like is green apple. So there's grape is next... Then it's watermelon. That's going to surprise a lot of people because I know watermelon's a very popular flavor. But then it's cherry, then blue res. Cherry's your second? Cherry is my second. But green apple's on the bottom. Green apple's on the very bottom. Heck, green apple. You sick Wait, freak. Didn't you get like a whole pack of Jolly Kirsten, Ranchers? we talked about Jolly Ranchers one we week did. on we the did. podcast. We did. We've brought this up before. And Jolly Kirsten, Ranchers. my sister, bought me two pounds of blue Jolly Ranchers after that. Which And they're all gone. Oh, I yeah. ate all of them. Because they're Blue Jolly Ranchers. They're the best flavor. Wasn't it like a bag full of just green apple? No. Yeah, the that was, that, that no, was, the that was that when I was the buying yeah. Jolly Ranchers instead of gum. Because the doctor was like, hey, you're TMJ. I wouldn't chew gum. But now I'm back on gum because heck him. And he doesn't know anything. Gum is fun. Gum is awesome. <laughs> um, I do love a good Jolly Rancher, though. But I would... I, I always... Spread out those green Jolly Ranchers. I get rid I'll of them. I'll take them. Because I don't throw them away because candy's candy, right? I can't throw away candy. I just give them. Excuse me. And we're back. I didn't hear any noise at all. Well, Wyatt, you're that's <sighs> So odd. where were we talking about? Uh, your Jolly Rancher flavor. Jolly Rancher flavors. Okay, so that's mine. Order. It goes from the top, bottom to top. Green apple, grape, watermelon, cherry, blue raz. Wyatt. Your All right, this is going to take more brain power than it should for me because it's like saying the alphabet backwards for some reason for my brain. So my bottom is definitely cherry. Cherry is my least favorite, but I don't dislike it. It's just it's the bottom flavor to me. It's not the one that I'm going to be like, ooh, I hope there's more cherries in this bag. That's No. Grape comes next. Then it's going to be watermelon. Then green apple. Then blue raspberry. Blue raspberry is my ultimate favorite, but I do love the green apple flavor. That's definitely my second. Watermelon's definitely middle of the road, though. Because sometimes you're like, oh, I kind of crave a watermelon Jolly Rancher. And then you're going to be five minutes later and it's like, I'm sick of this. Get rid of it. I want it out of my sight. Because you're just going to have, like, too many of them or something. Grape is just... It's grape. So we lined up... Grape is your number four, and cherry and watermelon is your number three. Yeah. That's mine, too. That, like So we lined up there. So, Connor, what's yours, bottom to top? Go. Um, what's your dynamic on this? You had all this time to think about this. Yeah, I know. It's just like... It's, it's hard I, to I think like about. Them all. I like Even them like all. The That's time. the issue. Right. I like them all. Um, wow. Uh, 
I think I'm going to say Sorry. as much as I like the watermelon taste, watermelon's going to be my bottom just because like that is going to make some people upset, I think. I know. But like it's it's whatever. I, I, mean, I like I, I like them all. It's just me saying that watermelon. about cherry might make someone upset even. Water, watermelon I'm, is I the I think bottom. cherry is more hated than watermelon. I, I think cherry that. like worldwide is probably hated more than green apple and grape. Because there's definitely like there's there's a reason. For I think that. I think Wyatt has like the I haven't wait Connor get get ready keep going. I okay. Mean. Um, then number four is probably gonna be. God, I like them all. It's hard. Um, like I haven't had grape as much, so I'm gonna put grape up at my number four just because I haven't had it as much, so I can't really give a accurate. Then cherry is above that. Then wait, no, green apple is above that. Then cherry. Then uh, blue raspberry. Okay, so blues ras- blue raspberry. So I think out of all of us, I think Wyatt probably has the most like valid one, like socially acceptable. But the only thing I think that like the wor- if we did like a poll, I think this would what would be like the worldwide thing. Like average, all right. So this is so I think it'd go cherry on the bottom, then um, grape. Are then there, aren't there strawberry garlands? No, not no. in an average bag. Then, so I think I know I've had one, but not in an average bag. Um, cherry, grape, watermelon, not watermelon, green apple, uh, watermelon, blue raspberry. I think that's what would be the normal like worldwide thing. I could see that. I can agree with that. So, but so now let's flip the switch here. Out of the real foods, like out of real watermelon, like real raspberries, because we'll get into it later. But yeah, we'll blue raspberry is a sham. So, like out of watermelon, raspberry, watermelon, nor like green apples. So, like sour apples, really, or Granny Smith, or whatever they're called, the whatever like the most generic green apple would be, and grapes. What are your five? Because mine would go watermelon on top, then grapes, then then green apples, and then um, cherries, then raspberries. Like it's like my number one becomes my number four five. So in terms of flavor, so my number one, like my favorite out of those for number one is probably going to be oh crap. I don't know. I don't even know right now. That's the problem. Because well, all t- these fruits are out of season for us. us. For some reason. All these fruits are out of season Because right I don't dislike the actual flavor of raspberries. The I, the only one, like, I don't have a problem with any of the flavors. I think grape might be, like, my actual favorite because grapes, grapes are great. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They're just pop them in, eat them. I was about to make a Reese's Puffs joke, and it, like, Reese's it's, it's bu- yeah, Reese's and it, it just didn't eat make up, sense. Eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, Because I said, just pop them in, and my first thought was, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, <laughs> and I don't know why. I blame those commercials. I can't even eat Reese's Pieces. <laughs> so probably grapes is number one. Probably the taste of watermelon comes second. Then it's going to be, like, raspberries, then apple, and then cherry. Because I've had so many different... Well, I shouldn't say that. There's some cherries that I've had, and they all just taste different. They're probably Mm -hmm. just all different types of cherries. Right. But, like, they all taste different. There's no, like, like, this one's bad, this one's okay, this one... Because, like, uh, there's one that's technically a cherry. It's called a golden berry. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, it's actually a cherry of type, and it's actually pretty good. I like them. Hmm. But, obviously, the candy's not, you know, based on that. Right. But like I, was but the, I don't get so like that's what, but like those are like two completely different tastes for me. They're completely. But they're both cherry different. or they're both watermelon. Like watermelon, it like is such a distinct flavor when it comes to candy. Like distinct. Like you feel, okay, that's watermelon. Yeah, it's watermelon candy. Even medicine kind of has the right, same flavor exactly. in terms of like watermelon. And but if like had it, normal kind of watermelon and watermelon, it's just I've always been like thought this was a really good like thought is that like there's two tastes for everything like. They're both watermelon, but they're completely different tastes. Like, completely differently. It's almost wild how different the tastes are. You will call both of them watermelon, but they are very separate. They've they've retired flavors from Jolly Rancher? I believe that. So the original flavors were watermelon, apple, and blue raspberry. Soon they introduced cherry, orange tangerine, lemon, grape, peach, black licorice, and sour apple. Eventually, blue raspberry replaced lemon. 
Dude, but, lemon jelly rancher. That attack. But they probably pretty. But good. they introduced blue raspberry. Fr- that might be an error. Uh, or it might have fallen out and then reordered back in. Yeah. Current flavors are cherry, blue raspberry, grape, green apple, fruit punch, and watermelon. Fruit punch. That's a current Wait. flavor. Yeah, it's a current flavor. I've never had a fruit punch jolly right I've had a fruit punch one. It's been a while though. Those it's are kind of like the basic now. Kinda. No, that's not in the original. They're not, they're that's not, not in the original. They're not bag. In a normal pack. I haven't seen them in forever. Mm. That's not in the original. The like a normal pack that you buy. It's only the five. I've, that I've seen them in very specific oh, packs, got and they're good. Into into an all lemon bag. Fruity bash, variety bag. They had a lemon I bag. Lemon and I there's did also know. mountain berry, pineapple, strawberry. That's a, that's a big pe- one. Cayenne pepper. Cayenne Sriracha. Cayenne pepper. Habanero. I'd try it. Um, I'm not a big fan of spicy candy. Oh, I love spicy. I've never had much spicy candy. Hmm. But I know, like, it's prob- that's probably going to change the flavors wildly. Well, let's talk about how, like, blue raspberry is a sham and is a lie. Yeah, it's fake. Blue Grr. raspberry is not a real thing. It's a manufactured Grr. corporate lie. It was made... To sell raspberry candy because it differentiated color from like cherry and yeah. watermelon candy. It's like pink lemonade. R- well, like pink lemonade is made with pink lemons. They're not like as pink as normal pink lemonade, right? But like, there's actually such thing as pink lemons. Yeah. I think I just blew you guys' mind by saying. Yeah, that. no, I am. I, I did not know there lemons are lemons. yellow. What the hell are you talking about? There's pink lemon. Look it up on your phone right now. There is such thing as pink lemons. They're not up, as harsh if I look as up pink normal lemons, lemons. And I'm gonna get a picture of some dude's balls. Or something. <laughs> no, this isn't like blue waffles at all. Pink lemons. I do not believe it's loading. Come on, pink lemons. They're real, but like so. Wait. All the blue raspberry candy oh, that you've ever had. So the inside's pink. It's like a blood orange. Right, or like a yellow watermelon. Have you ever had yellow watermelon? Yellow watermelon? No. That's a real thing too. Because I've eaten it, and it's great, okay? I don't know what the difference is between I mean, yellow I've, and red. I've had other melons like cantaloupe. No, yellow, it's literally oh, watermelon. It's but literally it's, watermelon, but yellow. It looks like a photoshopped image. What the That's hell? a real, that's real. Is it that's good? Odd. Because I've had it. Yes, it's good. Where, where, where it's is, weird where because it's literally it? like the color of pineapple, but it's Where do you get that watermelon. shit? I have no clue. My mom was like, guess what I got? Watermelon. Where and she you? cut it open, and it was yellow. I was like, is this sif rotted or what? It's like, no, that was the thing. It was a yellow watermelon. Or Desert King Yellow. Yeah, dude. Yellow watermelon fruit. What? Isn't that wild? What to do for watermelons turning yellow? Yellow watermelon seeds are available from reputable seed merchants. Their growing conditions are the same as red watermelon merchants. Seed merchants. It's what it said. Seed merchants. Seed merchants. Why isn't there there several varieties from which to choose? There's more varieties. I'm going to tell you the 100% truth, though. They taste the exact same. It's just like I do kind of believe it's that. like you turn the colorblind settings on in a video game. It's just that it's, it's the same game. It just looks different, <laughs> right? Um, but like, it, I, it's just it's kind of weird Price because like it looks like Captain you're gonna Price. eat some pineapple because it's that yellow. It tastes but it better tastes than pineapple like, though. It tastes like you don't like pineapple. It hurts my throat. You know what's really good? Artificial pineapple taste. Oh yeah, is pineapple Fanta. Or pineapple crush. I do have to agree with that. That's really good. I was really gonna go into that thinking, oh, I'm gonna hate this, and then I drink it, and it's like, oh my god. No, it's really good. I liked it more than actual pineapple. I think that's probably the closest thing that tastes like artificial pineapple taste and real pineapple taste. Probably is really like, close. Or pineapple you know what the, has its uses. There's reasons to drink it. You know, you know what the closest thing but is act, because like, they pineapple probably juice is better than eating pineapple. I'm getting off topic. I'm really thinking about pineapples. Coconut and artificial coconut taste the exact same to me. I'd agree with that. You know what? You know who are the kings of artificial flavors? What? Jelly Belly jelly beans. It's true. Well, like Dr Pepper. I know they're, it's like, like some of their Dr jelly Pepper's beans. an artificial yeah. taste, but like the Dr Pepper jelly beans taste just like it tastes like Jolly Rancher. Like tastes like Jelly Ranch. It tastes jelly like Dr Belly Pepper. Jelly, they like like Bean Boozled too. Like they like it tastes like I don't know how they manufacture. I don't know how the hell well. they do that. They have There's, a person who like tastes the actual thing. Yeah. But like, so like someone actually a dog poop? Dog food. Dog food. Yeah, yeah. There's not a dog poop one. Is there a poop one? I thought there was a. Poop I don't think one. there's a poop. There's one. a vomit yeah. one. There's so def- someone had to eat vomit. Well, someone well, probably I mean, just someone in, probably in, just threw up. I mean. And then wrote it down. You're, you're tasting it in or out. So one way or another, it's working. Or both. Ta- I, taste buds 
work no matter which way it's going. That is a that's a weird solid sentence. rock fact for you right there. <laughs> solid rock boy fact. Your taste buds will work no matter what. They will always work, unless you just got some kind of problem or burnt them off. If you throw up, you're going to taste it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. But this dude gets paid. This is real? Yes. To taste things or to and then to help simulate the taste of said things. So like dog food, toothpaste, what what's one of them diapers or something like that booger. There's, there's a weird one booger there's one i swear it's like diapers or something that's just like why 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 on earth is it why why did you do this like some of them are completely make sense and then there's some of them it's like you sick freak like grass freshly cut grass or whatever like to me that's still not as bad as like rotten egg no yeah well that's what i'm saying like that's just like the one of the normal ones i was talking about you it's, were talking it's about. like toothpaste fresh cut grass it's like okay you can go outside and just you know eat dirt eat you're gonna get it i mean isn't then that you they've changed flavors a few times i don't, I don't understand their process of how they make their artificial flavors so good while other places they'll be like bad at it like like saltwater taffy yeah and then i don't like, like it so many saltwater taffies because it like it's usually handmade it varies so much so you'll have some it's like mm, this is great and then some of it's like this is awful right yeah or, like this is more just like a candy episode it really big it well have we had a candy episode uh we had one for halloween right but i know like artificial flavors it really does come mostly down to like candy because that's right. where you're gonna find a l well speaking of it's artificial present flavors, everywhere but we can tell you what where, where uh, artificial flavors aren't present skittles no they are there isn't it a scent no they are there we literally debunked this theory. No, I thought it's M and M's that don't have flavor. I thought it was the other way around. M and M's are just chocolate. Yeah, those right. are just right. chocolate. Dude, chocolate. no, dude, the, Skittles have flavor. Y'all are drunk. We literally debunked this theory at my birthday. But then years we came ago. down to that it has the same smell, or they have different smells, no, but the same. Flavor. I'll never believe that fact because I could t because I could because we blindfolded I could, you because I was like, oh, it's a sight thing. You just know what it's going to be because of the sight. No. And then I started switching them up, but you could still smell them. I could. That, that's not the reason. I'm willing to make a YouTube video out of this. Again. Because I could distinct a green Skittle from a mile away. You could give me a green Skittle in the middle I think I can. of every other, like, thing, and I'd be like... Or there's you could be one like... Green one. You could put a handful of Skittles, and if there's only one green one, I will be able to taste the green one. I'm going to find a way to test this, and we're going to do it by blocking your nose somehow. So that way you can. So this will be a video, by the way. That's fine. We're, because I, I I know my Skittles. I take eat my like, Skittles. I've been eating Skittles for years. I'm going to put like Reese's Pieces in it or something. Just no, that's that's a crime against. Yeah. Humanity. That's the mood. That's, I'm like, in. that's like people who Why, mix Eminem. Why? Wouldn't, want, wouldn't want us to do that to you. Yeah, that, because that, I'm allergic to them. That's like. <laughs> That's like mixing mixing the people who mix peanut. Uh, uh, no, that's like the people who mix M and M's and Skittles together. Like when I was in, the in same third dish. grade and the teacher mixed the M and M's and the Reese's pieces and the Skittles all together, and then I had to go to the nurse's office during map testing. I remember that. I, I hold someone. severe resentment for that. You're just was, trying to attack someone now. It was in for no, it was fourth grade. That's what it was. Fourth grade, and the teacher she mixed up the Skittles, the M and M's, and the Reese's pieces. Came back from the bathroom, ate a Reese's pieces. Had to go to the nurse. Got sent home early. <sighs> You're not even that allergic to peanuts. I'm not, but it was still really frustrating. You think I'm not gonna ride the coaster full... to be like I'm gonna go home I instead? I'll feel. I'll forever be salty about how little you're actually allergic to peanuts. Because there's part of me that's just like oh, you're kind of like D'Angelo from The Office when he's like, "Last time I ate a peanut, I was itchy for hours." And he's like, they're like, you didn't, you don't like go into like shock or anything or, and, or die. And he's like, no, I like to be comfortable in my own skin or something like that. See, at least I'm not just itchy. My windpipe does start to have weirdness. I have that at least. So that's something. I'm itchy. <laughs> almost the, ruined Spider-Man My us. insides are itchy. <laughs> almost ruined I'll be honest. That force. was the worst I've ever had it. Really? Was at Spider-Man because I've never experienced it like that. Hmm. So I'm curious if it was something else. <laughs> Oh, so, so the Skittles people, being much smarter than most of us, recognize that it is cheaper to make things smell and look different than them to actually taste different. So Skittles may about have different fragrances and different colors, but taste exactly the same. I won't believe it ever. 
Well, we're you gonna could, plug you could read it. You could read here's it off thing. of the Skittles website, and I'd still call bullshit. Here, here's the thing, though. If they if it smells different, it'll taste different because the thing is. Well, yeah, perfume. Whenever you're yeah, but you know how people are like, if you plug your nose, you can't taste it. Wrong. Yeah, that is still wrong. Taste it. I think that you'd have a harder time distinguishing the difference if we plugged your nose. Well, yeah. I think I'm willing to test this and make an entire video out of it because of the artificial flavors in them or the artificial perfumes that they'll taste different because of the way they smell. But if you limit what you can smell, it's going to taste different still, like different from what you're used to. I'm G willing Gary's to test stern. this. Gary has a stern I don't face. think so. I will call bull. I'm willing to be proved wrong, but if I'm proved wrong, I will be salty about it. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Like, I'll be butthurt about I'm it. I'm willing to test but, like, this. But, like, I'm willing to be proved wrong, oh. but I don't think if, if if the testing is done on me, that's all I'm saying. I think I will be able to well, do yeah, it. Well, yeah, because that would be, like, the best way to prove it, too, because then it's, like, you were the one there. Or maybe I just have heightened abilities. That you guys You're a don't. super taster? Yeah. There's a few ways to test this that. This is going to be our next like special. The I definitive do it. I have super taste buds. The, the, the time sweeps Skittles tasting contest. We the make it like off. a six hour stream for just like three minutes of content. <laughs> it's all build up. It's all a bunch of different camera angles. Of and us, we'll like, make sure doing to record things. it this time. Hey, to be fair, we didn't know that it was one button click. We didn't know. Yeah. Oh, an artificial know. flavor that I thought about like uh, Horito soda, like the way that their flavors taste, like their Is lime, that the, Mexican the sodas. Mexican sodas, yeah. yeah. The only sodas allowed in a Spanish class for parties, at least for my Spanish classes, we I had to bring authentic. We had to bring Clash. authentic Mexican cuisine to parties. I for you guys couldn't see. I did air quotes because that's BS. I was in German class and we never had. That's parties. what I wanted to be in, but they were like. We're full up on German classes. Bullshit. And How? I was like, Everyone we were was not full Spanish on German program. classes. We were missing people constantly. Like, their room was empty. That's what they told me. They said, you can't change lying. because we're full up. And I'm like, wow. You were, they were lying to you. <laughs> That's BS. They were straight up lying to I'm you. I'm going to go take German just, classes and learn more about my, cult, my the, uh, history. Spanish program more, to be honest with you. Well, I'm kind of glad I did Spanish because I didn't have to try in those classes because I f sat next to fluent speakers both years. So yeah, I just, just got just to copy. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. I oh, hope both it, my Spanish teachers hear that I copied their whole class. Yeah, they can't do anything about even it Even on tests. The The hardest thing was oral reports, because I, but I'd, just bull I'd, I'd totally be like, I wouldn't try. Like I'd totally like white person the f out of the test. Just like, like, uh, like May Coro, Cot Como Teamas, Cota Teamas, like Plato Ear Albano, like, like just be completely white, like on purpose. Like people speaking like German and they don't know like certain consonants and they're Jager, Jagermeister, Jager Hund, <laughs> Hund and Cass. Guten Morgan, <laughs> Guten Morgan. <laughs> Yes. It's spelled with a U. Yes. Goot. Geet. It's got the Geet little little on it, so it sounds like ew. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, so, Horito Soda. I feel like they're, like, the artificial flavoring that they go through to make some of their stuff. Like, pineapple soda. Yeah, I think their pineapple soda tastes better than, was it, Fanta or Crush? Crush both. Just the, the, I think theirs tastes better you know, than both of those. You know what's the best, like, off, like... Their lime soda is awesome. The best, like off beat like so like not orange or grape soda like like you know what the best flavor soda is it's peach fanta or like peach, peach? crutch it's so good peach crutch. i think that's my favorite what's your favorite artificial taste because my favorite artificial taste is peach artificial taste yeah not like real food like what's your favorite like artificial taste to have in like soda or candy or something that's hard to break down in a way because there's there's a lot of different flavors. I know without a doubt, my candy. Speech. It's definitely hard to answer. And soda, it's got to be orange or whatever the heck Dr Pepper is. Yeah. Um, cola. Apparently, it's cola and root beer, and I, I don't like to think about that either. My if it's like a popsicle, it's grape. If oh my it's god! Like I didn't a, even think of popsicles. If it's like a soda, it's orange, and if it's uh, just a candy. Or like a frozen drink, it's a uh, blue raspberry. See, like pretty much all my favorites are blue. 
Like anything blue. It's, it's most of the time it's blue raspberry. Because blue is appealing. Something but like blue, blue is good. Like but like if it's a soda, I will my favorite soda is probably Peach Crush or Peach Fanta. I don't know, I'm I'm a big fan of orange Fanta. So well, I'm not saying Fanta. I don't like I, I know. that. It's, I it's love those like pops, but like I do like the old Have you ever had the peach one? I haven't, most because that also sounds like a sin amongst man. It's so good. Because I've had this other peach. How's it a sin so, amongst man? Because I've had this other peach drink and it was absolutely awful. Peach knee high. Connor's. I don't know. It was we, so, it wasn't we're doing. I something bought else. that whole twelve pack of peach for, uh, crush for like a a New Year's Eve or something at your house. Oh yeah. That Wyatt couldn't go to. Yeah, it was. It was okay. Yeah, it was good. I liked it. When was that? Was that I don't last know. year? No, it was like we were in like middle of high school. Like it was probably sophomore. Oh, or, or at that year. point, I don't even. Remember. We're gonna cut that oh. out. I never went there. Oh, sh- yeah. That's. I don't want okay. that out there. I don't want to talk about that anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry. I. We'll make leave. sure that that's out. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember which New Year's that was. Never. I. I never went anything like that. Okay. If I was anywhere, it was always with these two. Usually, honest to God. Well, then I maybe I was just hanging out with you. It wasn't a New Year's Even, Eve. Because I feel like we started doing New Year's are like. Sophomore that year. we started that our sophomore year because sophomore no, year it was, it was sooner us. than that because Junior freshman year, year we had the other person and then senior year we had the other other person no f- like because freshman year uh what's his name came no that was soft we started sophomore year i thought that happened though our junior year because no senior year we had because he didn't go off the rails yet avery he was still like normal in quotation marks I thought that that was our junior year. Is this Wait, no. Was it sophomore year? It was sophomore year because he was in... No, because the year before that, your mom made the meatballs. The meatballs were always present. We're this having is... an actual moment of like existential crisis here, trying to remember, because it seems like we're, we're either on the ball or completely out of order. In my head, I remember because senior year, there was the TikTok with the lightsabers. That was... Yeah senior year was it that was our senior year junior year maybe i wasn't able to go junior year or something yeah you weren't able to go junior year because i'm like i'm actually drawing a blank on something because i don't remember it because last year there was the freak snowstorm that didn't actually happen like everybody was like oh don't go out on new year's there's gonna be a snowstorm and then like nothing happened like fizzled out over nothing yeah that's what happened this week Pretty much. Like, <laughs> everything was canceled. And then, like, the Even next day... Even school was. Yeah, like, every school in our area was, like, canceled. And it's like, I'm not complaining because it meant I didn't have to do anything that day. But, like, it was nothing. I still wouldn't have wanted to drive out with a bunch of Well, idiots. yeah, no, because I couldn't drive yesterday morning or barely this morning because our my area of uh, my neighborhood is absolutely awful. Yeah. My little car, it just, like, starts fishtailing at certain corners, and it's it's bad. So artificial flavors. So artificial flavors. So I feel like we're missing a big area of artificial flavors that usually makes them worse. Oh, medicine. Medicine. Of medicine. I'm, flavors. I am forever scarred from grape. Grape medicine. It's my least favorite thing in the world. Grape I think. Cough medicine. But any cough medicine, I don't care what flavor it is, I am not taking it. If the cure for cancer was cough medicine or cough syrup. Sorry, I'm dying. I was gonna say cough syrup is the worst. I'm gonna. I, I, like, in my house, I was, will like, put that on my grave, bro. If the cure for cancer is cough syrup, syrup, I will die. Cherry flavored <laughs> cough syrup. It's it's bad. It is the worst flavor on this planet. Cherry cough syrup. Cherry cough syrup. That's what I had growing up, and I remember one time I was sick, had a horrible. That's like cough. Robitussin. Took, was, Robitussin was always cherry flavored. Took cherry cough syrup, and I ruined a carpet. Yeah, that's, destroyed a carpet. Like that as soon as like you know that area like when a flavor hits the back of your throat, yep, that's the point of no return for most people, and that's when you know something's either going to be like oh this is a wonderful sweet piece of candy, or oh my god this is the worst thing I have ever intaken to my body what is this artificial factory water runoff? It's uh poop. It's poop. It is just poop. Poop. So poop. But we've t- we've talked about candies. We've talked about some artificial flavors. Good areas, bad areas. 
what do you think is the best way to have artificial flavors in something? Like, if we're talking, like, chips, candy, drinks, ice cream, popsicles, medicine. I'm not going to judge you if you're into chugging certain medicines. It's none of my business. Sometimes people do what they do. Sometimes you take a nice medicine popsicle. <laughs> well, like, what I, what I find myself eating artificial flavors the most is probably candy right like on probably, a typical scale probably most people or in second uh and second is probably soda or something but like um what's your favorite like so like what's a thing that like what about chi- you said chips like what comes to mind like when artificial I barbecue artificial chips? flavor chi- yeah like barbecue sour cream and onion because i know like good mythical morning has had like series of talking about artificial flavors and, yeah like, munch madness them. And one of one episode that I remember very clearly was watching them talk about sour cream and onion. And they went through these different brands of like chips and crackers and things that say that they're sour cream and onion and how vastly different they are. They all were. They were all different. One of the best sour cream and onion things is the Ritz cracker that's like a ruffly on the on the ends of it. But it's yeah. like a cracker. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly what you're it's talking about. It's like a about. white bag. Yeah, and yeah. That's like the best sour cream and onion thing. First, what about sour cream and onion Pringles? I've always thought the best one that like came closest to it was the goldfish. Really, goldfish th- sour cream and onion? I thought it tasted the most like actual sour cream and onion. Mm. Like chips, they still taste good, and the Pringles taste good. But the ones that taste closest to reality seem to be the goldfish somehow. Really? Oh, and then you got things that are like artificial flavors, like you know combos. That's oh. their entire thing, is combos, artificial like flavors. Pe- like pizza combos? Yeah, like the little pretzel things that look absolutely weird. Like That have, like, stuff on the middle of the pretzel? Yeah. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Those are, like, their entire branding is artificial flavor. Right, because it's just powder, like chip powder, basically, yeah. in the middle it, of it. It's like the equivalent of taking a musket and just shoving it full of artificial yeah, flavoring and a little bit of fake pizza. cheese. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. So you get all that, like, shoved inside of a weird circular molded pretzel, and it's all artificial. Right. You cannot tell me that they actually did anything with actual three-bean dip and (laughs) summarized an actual flavor out of it. They were like, nah. See this industrial runoff? Sweet. Shove it in that pretzel hole. (laughs) Shove it in the pretzel hole. Shove it in a pretzel hole. Getting that on a t-shirt. Put it in the pretzel hole. That'd be a good t-shirt. or good. How long of a, how long do you have left? We're only at 34 minutes. 34 minutes? Damn. See, like, we just got to start talking about certain things. You just got to get into it. You got to think of everything you possibly you can. Because we haven't talked even talked about, Laffy about Taffy. gum or Laffy <laughs> Taffy. <laughs> we haven't gotten to bananas. Laffy. I'm saving that for a moment. Like, after I get combos out of the way, I'm coming to bananas. I'm coming for bananas. Oh, God. Take that in whatever context you want. <laughs> but, like, combos. Like, <laughs> pizza combos. If you've ever had pizza Pringles, pizza flavored goldfish, or pizza combos, they all three sound completely, or sound, taste completely different than one another. But they all surmise that they taste like some kind of pizza, and it's not wrong. What what pizza does it taste like? So usually it's like a pepperoni or a cheese. But like depending on what pizza place you go to, it's going to be like, there's a place like off Waldo Street. Well, because have you ever had place. two pe- uh, cheese pizzas that have tasted the same from two different places? That's what I was about to say. They're going to taste different no matter where you are. So it's like... These aren't wrong. Right. Because pizza is so, like, individualized. Unless it's, you're, like, going to, like, you know, hy V Price Chopper and going into, like, the frozen food section and buying a pizza. They are not going to taste exactly the same. Right. You go to Quick Trip and order one pizza, order another pizza. Those two pizzas are going to taste different. Even if yeah. it's, like, separated by days, same day, whatever. Yeah. It will taste different. But these combos, these goldfish, these Pringle, other things that taste like pizzas, quote-unquote pizza aren't incorrect because pizza can just you know taste so wildly different at any point and i think that's the weirdest artificial flavoring to me because there's some dude was just like dude this thing tastes like pizza and then some other dude agreed that yeah this tastes like pizza and in reality it may taste nothing like a pizza but people say it tastes like a pizza and technically it's not wrong because a pizza could taste like that artificial pizza flavoring long story short Pizza. 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 Well, I know you have a beef with one of the best Laffy Taffies. 
It's the worst. Silence. It is it's, wrong. It's literally Silence. the only bet, like the only good Laffy Taffy. You Actually, were, I love all the. Yeah, Laffy I was gonna Taffy. say you're about to be incorrect. But like the green apple one, garbage, bro. Bing bong, your opinion is wrong. <laughs> the the pink one, the pink one's pretty wrong. good. Pink one is wrong. Great, but blue is the, perfect. But the banana one, you know the best. That's one? the best one. You want to know what the best one? What is, is red it? One? Blue raspberry. Oh, and blue raspberry. Green apple. Yeah, but banana laffy taffy. Love green apple. Flavor. Comment down below if I'm crazy because banana laffy taffy is dope. It is disgusting. It is great. Oh, it is a testament. When was the last to time you had sin. banana laffy taffy? Actually, not that long ago because we were at work and I talked about how bad it is and people were just like, "Oh, it's not that bad." And then somebody was finally just like, "I'm gonna eat it," and I was like, "No, you're not. You're gonna hate it." And they smelt it, and they hated it. The smell of it is awful. What do you mean? It smells like it smells, it like, smells like, like. You disgusting. know what else is good? That's banana. The the little hard ban- like candy bananas. You know what smells better? Those are like the Victorian banana candies. Yeah, those or are we good. talked about like runts that look the runts. like bananas. Dude, those are good. I don't even know what those are supposed to taste like. Those are good. They don't um, taste like anything real. <laughs> the there's like a banana gummy thing that's good. Banana gummy thing. Mm-hmm. They sell it like candy stores. I don't think you're supposed to take those from the gorillas, dude. There's like a bananas taste good, banana bananas. bread, <laughs> just bananas. Yeah, just straight up bananas. Like off they're the tree. not real. Um, bananas don't exist, dude. But bananas like, uh, have always been artificial flavor. <laughs> bananas. You go to the uh, bananas are a type of melon. Change my mind. Aren't they a type of? Wait, what are they actually classified as? Aren't they technically like? A I berry? think they're a fruit. No shit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know a potato's a vegetable? Oh, that's I'm gonna like Is be it? wrong. Is it tomato I, a vegetable? Tomato, no, is not. We we're actually talking about botany, the way the way that that's summarized. A tomato has its own. That's weird. I don't. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it because I can't remember. I'm gonna sound stupid. Like corn's a grain. Potato is technically like potatoes are weird. Potatoes grow weird. Have you ever had artificial baked potato flavor? No. It's wrong. Like baked potato? Like you know what's it's, really it's good? It's a fake flavor that's supposed to taste like baked potato. It's uh, Sweet potatoes are good. Have you had sweet potato fake flavoring? Uh-uh. I have on chips, and it was weird because it's like, just make the chips out of sweet potato. No, these are like, you read the package. These aren't They're chips. Normal made potato of sweet, chips. Made but of... with sweet potato flavor. That's... Why? It's just stupid. Why didn't just they just make su- it out of sweet just, potatoes? Like, find a way to make it from sweet potatoes or it's something. It's the same. Just put sweet potatoes in the machine rather than normal potatoes. I'm kind of craving sweet potatoes now. Why'd you do this to me? Because sweet Why'd potatoes you do are this, good. Gary? Do you like normal sweet potatoes? It's just like... With just like uh, butter and like salt on it? Or do you like the mar- the Holston like marshmallows on it and stuff? I like it somewhere between those two things. Which usually means without the marshmallows. Yeah. You have to be in a mood for the marshmallows, in my opinion. Dude, we haven't even talked about that. What? Sometimes you'll have marshmallows with artificial flavoring on them. And they'll just taste... Like uh, like, like the circus peanuts. Exactly like circus peanuts. The worst candy ever. Those are... Oh. Circus peanuts are different than regular... I, I didn't go to the... Circus, circus no, no, circus peanuts no, no, no. are There's a, a candy. There's a type of candy called circus peanuts. And they're like an orange peanut It looks like styrofoam in the shape of a peanut. Like but peat? Like a peat? <clears throat> it's like the predecessor to peeps, Okay. but wrong. Another thing that's gross. Peeps are gross. Peeps are gross, but you want to know the best use of peeps? Uh, s- no. You I don't. T- you don't want to know? No. Connor, do you want to know? Yes. Okay, so you take <laughs> peeps, open the package, let them sit. For like a long period of time <laughs> until they get hard, <laughs> like a little crunch on your peep. No, no, no. You take them and just start throwing them at people and things. Oh, you know how to actually properly eat a peep? <laughs> what? So light it on you know fire. How to properly eat a peep. You so you open the package from the from the right side, like above the pa- above the lettering, so the lettering's right side up, right? And then you throw it in the trash. <laughs> The best thing to do with them is use them as a wow. I, <laughs> I can't speak. <laughs> as a weapon? Is use them as a weapon. Say? It's the best thing to do with them. You take a bunch of hard peeps, or put, to put them, them in a, in a vacuum. sock, and just start swinging it above your head. Like a butter sock? Like a butter sock. <laughs> like a butter sock. <laughs> it's my peep sock. 
My pizza. I don't like that <laughs> phrase. I don't pizza. like that phrase. <laughs> phrase. I used to have a sock that I put a baseball in that I would. Have. <laughs> I don't know why, but like my first thought was you were gonna finish it with bat. It was so a baseball a sock <laughs> instead of a baseball that's bat. That's a thing. You know, that's a thing for like self defense to put a sock on the end of your bat. So if you try to swing at someone and they catch your bat, you could oh, pull just it like out of the sock it. and then hit him again. Like a hockey player wearing a like a looser shirt just so that way they can slip out of it. Right. Best thing I've ever seen in any Well, actually, sport. like hockey jerseys have like a thing that hooks onto your underwear so they can't do oh, the, like that flip it. thing over. Oh, yeah. But that's also if you're wearing it properly. <laughs> Because there's a lot of people, they'll wear it super loose, so that way if somebody grabs their jersey, they just slip out of it. Like, like, like or like, like a freaking, or like a honey badger that can just turn around and it go. Bah, yeah. bah, no, bah, it's bah. like a honey badger because they have that extra skin on them. Right. So I know someone who, like, he says, I have one move when it comes to a fight. I'm not gonna say who because I don't want to give away their move. But they grab, <laughs> they grab the shirt like at the collar, right? Yeah. And he says, they say, I just grab the shirt and I just start punching, like. Just punch. Oh, yeah, you just I go was for like, it. well, what happens if you fight someone that doesn't have a shirt on? And they're, he's like, well, I guess I'm screwed. <laughs> and I was like, what? What? have you come across anyone who's just ripped off their shirt as grab, you had a hold of it? Their <laughs> grab, grab their pants. Grab their, their pants. pants. <laughs> Start punching them in the crotch. <laughs> but when in doubt, cool. do what Winston Churchill said. Aim for the nards. Do, it, do what Winston Churchill said and shoot them in the back of the head while they're not looking. That's also true. <laughs> When in doubt, <laughs> catch them off guard <laughs> when they're looking away from you, thinking about other things, and then do a full 007. <laughs> full 007. Blow their brains out. They'll never see it coming. Anyway, Especially artificial taste. So, yeah, artificial flavoring. I did just remember one after saying Honey Badger. It was one of the, uh, like, the gross-out Jelly Belly ones to go all the way back to, you know, the beginning. <sighs> Skunk Spray. That's a thing. Did someone I've, have to eat that? That's yeah. That's what just occurred to me as soon as like just before you said that, somebody had to like quote unquote taste some of these things. Did they have to like, or did they just make like the grossest taste they can thing? And yeah, then just and label that, like skunk spray on it, like because you you know it when you feel it. Some things will like taste as they smell. Are they running with that idea but reverse engineering it? It's like taking the spell. It's the spell. Smell. The spell. The spell. They're taking the spell. I want to get them! What do you think that tastes like? What is the artificial equivalent? Of death? Of death. <laughs> I don't know. I want answers. I want answers. It's skunk well, let's spray. kill you and find out. But see, I can't answer the question because I'm dead. Right. But you'll know so what wait, death no, tastes we need like. Wait, no, we need to find a way to resuscitate me. Defibrillator. No shit, but we need to, like, <laughs> to put me down and then bring me back. We could have a snake bite you. Yeah. That might be not as easy. And then get some anti-venom. Heart attack. Punch you in the throat. <laughs> it's like, just ah, throat, throat punch. punch. <laughs> so at the end of this episode, it's just like... <laughs> just quiet <it's> choking. <laughs> it's like, all right, guys, we're about to... That's all you hear. That's that's the end of the episode. And like the end, the final like sound you hear is just my giant body hitting the floor. Boom! You just hear. That's it. That's the episode. That's the episode. Tune in next time. Um, on Dragon Ball Z. I was trying to think of like something else that has like artificial flavoring. Mints. Mints or like gum. What's your favorite gum? What's your go-to gum flavor? That's not a type of mint. There's this one black cherry gum that I really like. Really? That's actually what I'm chewing right now. Besides mint, besides mint. Because so what's your favorite? Mint do you, do you get peppermint? So like, do you chew five gum? Because if you get chew five gum, you either chew pe spearmint or you chew peppermint. Usually at five gum, I never really liked their peppermint. To me, their peppermint oh wasn't always that good. You either but chew blue I like their spearmint. The spearmint is always what I have because that's that's because like, they get they they sell it in the big thirty two pack now. And I chew two slices of gum at a time. That's, That's probably not good for your job, bud. I don't that care. That might actually be part of the problem. I don't care. I'm not going to stop. I mean, you, you did mention that earlier, but I, I think that might be part of the problem. What's the difference? It's all the same level of it's gummy this, it's when a, you it's get a it all chewed up. It's twice the size of gum. 
Listen, sometimes I throw th- four or five in there. That's not better. <laughs> that's not good. Sometimes I like to bite the full job size jawbreakers. You know dude. if you add, that's adding volume to it. Sometimes I'll just take a whole pack of Big League Chew and put it in my mouth. But that's what you're supposed to do with Big League Chew. <laughs> Have you ever it's just softer. taken a bite out of the side of a bubble tape? No. Because I've just taken the whole bubble what tape. What is wrong mouth. with you? <laughs> you like banana taffy. You take bites out of the side of bubble tape. Hey, what's next? Taking bites out of the side of a what whole freaking Bite Kit children? Kat? Yeah. What? what we were bite? on two different ways. Yeah, what did you say? I said taking the bi- taking a bite of a cheese stick or a whole like side of a Kit Kat. Yeah, yeah Kit I do that Kats. thing too. Yeah, I do that too. Actually, that one is kind of fun just to make people angry. We'll see. Sometimes like, I get like so one of the one super time, huge ones, and I, like put I, it on I bought Snapchat. a thing of bubble tape, and I was like, I looked at the person I was with, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "Want to see something funny? <laughs> get a load of this!" And I took a big bite out of the side <laughs> of it, and they're like, oh, "What's wrong with you? Get out! <laughs> get out of my car! Get out of my car! <laughs> on the like, highway? <laughs> right? We're going like seventy. Kicks you out of the car. That's why Gary has this metal plate in the side of his head. Yeah, don't. He bring can't go to airports, to, dude. Don't bring mag- magnets too close to me. I start to kind of seizure out. His, his vision gets blurry. <laughs> he, he tastes iron in his mouth. It's real bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's one of my favorite things to do, and so, like, is just start making that's crap. That's also up like that. a bub. That's also an artificial taste that is only an artificial taste. What bubble gum? Yeah, bubble gum. Like bubble gum is a what? flavor. But, what, but is what is it based off of? And that's one that you can, like, it's been surmised to other things as well, like medicine. Right. Ice cream. Well, gum kind of started out as a medicine, right? Technically, yes. But bubble gum, like the flavor of bubble gum, yeah. I guess is what we're talking about. Because gum did start out like that, just like, you know, a lot of candy and most sodas. It started as, like, a form of, like, you know, quote-unquote medication. Because, like, uh, certain gums, like Beeman's, mm-hmm. I don't remember what it's made with, but it has, like, the same thing as, like, Pepsi and Pepnobismol. And it kind of has like a, it has a taste to it that it's not like either of those, but it will help you if you have an upset stomach. Speaking of ice cream, so Little Debbie just came out with a line of ice creams. I'm afraid to know where this is going. <laughs> so like they're making artificial taste off of an artificial taste already. Little Debbie. Little Debbie, like oatmeal cream pie, Swiss rolls. Is it ice cream that tastes? Ta- it's tastes ice cream that tastes like those that like they're like zebra cakes, like. Does like oatmeal cream, oatmeal cream pie. Oatmeal cream pie. And I don't think it. so. I think it's just ice cream. So All it's right. literally an artificial taste based on an artificial taste. That's like a paradox. That's some paradox level shit. That's like... I don't... That seems weird no. to have that. Right. I don't understand. And I saw someone review it and apparently like the oatmeal cream pie, which is my favorite thing, is just basically vanilla ice cream. Really? Which makes me sad. Damn. It's gonna have like or like Swiss the Swiss roll run one is basically just chocolate because how do you get Swiss roll ice cream without making it with Swiss rolls? Swirl. I don't even know what like do you, how do you I don't understand how you surmise one fake thing like a Swiss roll and make that taste like ice cream taste like that because to me like what's the closest you're gonna get with that? You just gotta put the stuff like in a it. dilly bar from Dairy Queen. Like, that's gonna like, be like that's, the that's my thing. Why don't they just put the stuff like in brownie it? ice cream where you have chunks of brownie in it? Like in like or, or like, bubble gum like ice cookies cream. and cream or cookies and cream or ch- uh, cookie dough ice cream. I don't know. I'd try that actually. Like, Sweet Swiss roll ice cream. Like Swiss roll, like chunks of yeah. Swiss but apparently roll it's it. just like someone said it was just basically chocolate ice cream. That doesn't surprise me, but at the same time, that's so cheap. Oh well, yeah, I mean like what I'm okay. This is one of my favorite things that people like I've seen with flavors is like random names on things. And it, like they'll summarize it to, you know, like an actual flavor, but the names are like some random crap. Like outer outer space crunch. What does that taste like? When you read outer space crunch, what is the flavor you think of for that? Outer space crunch. Like like let's say outer space. We'll just put it as outer space. Like when you, I've seen crap that's just like this flavor is space Chocolate. themed. What does a themed flavor mean? Blueberry. Blue, like it's supposed to be blueberries is what he's t- supposed to taste like. I know. Or Frankenberry. Chocolate. Frankenberry is the one. I don't know what he's supposed to taste like. F- dead people. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I, he's a Frankenstein's right. monster type creature. Um. What was I going to say? It's oh, like meat, Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Meat-flavored cereal. Have you ever put cinnamon sugar on a piece of toast? 
Yes. That's not what Cinnamon Toast Crunch tastes like. It does like. not. It sometimes tastes better than Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And apparently, there's Cinnamon Toast Crunch cre- coffee creamer now. How does that work? I don't it's just know. just cinnamon and sugar. Right. Just put cinnamon and sugar in your coffee with a little bit of creamer. With a little bit of creamer. Your creamer. With Ooh. cream. Cream. We're going to keep saying cream. How many times can we say cream before it just gets annoyingly because we're just I don't know. You have time time how many times for one more thought? One more thought? One more thought. Like cream? Like cream? I don't... Like creams? Like, cra- <laughs> like crepes. <laughs> crepes so, or pancakes. Like, dude, that's one I've seen artificial flavors for. Crepes? Blueberry, like, uh, blueberry like, pancakes. Not crepes specifically, but like breakfast. We food. haven't even talked about like awful. Pop-Tarts. Biggest like Pop artificial thing ever. I even think of Pop Tarts. Like oh, all of, every po- every Pop Tart is an artificial taste. It's an artificial it's true. flavor. Well, like even the, like well for the most part. Well, chocolate is it right? It I mean, it has legitimate. Ch- yeah. It's straight up chocolate in it. Like, and cherry? s'more. I mean, it's just like. But like, like strawberry, strawberry Pop Tarts. There ain't no real strawberries in that. Nope. Or blueberry. blueberry? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or any fruit yeah, like, pop tart. I remember when they came out with Justice League pop tarts and they were all random flavors. That was made me mad. Fruit punch pop tart? Is that a thing? I don't that know. That sounds wrong. <laughs> it sounds wrong, but it's Blue believable. raspberry pop tart? Blue That's raspberry? Real. That, yeah. That is a real one. Uh, like cookies and cream pop tarts. That's just gross. It's weird. Chocolate chip cookie pop tarts? Those ones are not very good. S'more pop tarts? Small pop tarts. Toaster are, they're strudels. Pretty all right. Toaster strudels in general. Like, well, like, there's some you can get and they'll have, like, actual apple filling or cherry filling or whatever the heck you want to shove in their strudel hole. That, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, is there a problem with the term strudel hole, Connor? Yes, I do. What's the problem? I'm not Look gonna me answer in the that. eye. I'm not Look gonna, me in the I'm eye, not Connor. I'm going to answer that while Strudel. on YouTube. You know son. why fruits are better than vegetables? Because they taste sweet. There's no such thing as artificial vegetable flavoring. That's just gross because vegetables are gross. What are veggie straws then? They don't taste like any vegetable I've ever tasted. But Maybe. what is the flavor supposed to be of them? I don't know. They're just made of vegetables. Zesty ranch. Zesty ranch. Yeah. It's just salt. Zesty ranch is pretty oh, good. Oh my god. That I mean they probably have, I really I mean they have some pepper it. stuff. Are peppers vegetables? Pepper wait. What about B no, eight? Wait, I think they fall wait. I don't know. Because peppers are do they classify as a fruit? They're not no, I don't think so. I've never thought about it. Hold on. Because like the way that they function is like a growing and like how they seed and stuff. Because, yeah, there's plenty of, like, that's a big one. Artificial spice flavoring. Like jalapeno. There's a huge difference between, like, an actual pepper and something that jalapeno says it tastes Cheetos, like a pepper. Takis. Because, like, real peppers don't bother me. They taste fine. Takis Other, are gross. You know, gross. like, you Change get into, like, line. further down the line. But, like, that fake, like, some of those, like, fake spice stuff, that, like, you'll feel it. In the, I'll, I feel it in the back of my throat. It's fake. It's artificial. It hurts. It hurts to eat you. Are peppers a fruit? <laughs> they're, a clu- they're a cuneo nimbus. A cloud? <laughs> they're a cloud. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're an SLC. Scary looking cloud. That's a real term. Peppers are fruit. No, Botanical classification. Bananas are fruit. Or bananas. Peppers are fruit. <laughs> bananas are fruit. <laughs> bananas are Who fruit. knew? <laughs> bananas fruit. And on that note. Water is wet. <laughs> water is wet. Changed my mind. It's not. Water is wet. It makes things wet. So classifying something as wet is when water mo- oh, molecules are cleaning, cleaning yes, to it. When it water right? is on so when you else. have a big. I've started so if you have one water molecule. If you have one water molecule, one mo- water molecule is not wet. But if you have a big thing of water, like a, in your water bottle, well, other water molecules are making water it's molecules moist. wet. That is not how it works. Yes, it is. No, it is not. Because all other molecules are clinging to other molecules, therefore yeah, water making is other sticky. water H2O wet. H2O is sticky. But Dude, that there's a reason that like, professional scientists say water is wet. I refuse. The only people that say water because is not wet are freaking citizens like you that aren't educated on water is yeah, wet. Yeah, Gary? Not. Yes. Who's the, I don't want to get into that yet. The educate. I don't want to get there. Water. Okay. So, 
if I take water and splash it onto something and splash it onto itself, <laughs> why would it itself be wet if other things make it wet? Does that because it has other water it, molecules uh, attaching so to itself? So we're just making other molecules wet. That's stupid. Why would you surmise it that way? That you're made of molecules. I am made of molecules. Therefore, if water gets on you, you're making your molecules wet. <laughs> Therefore, oh, you're getting wet. Therefore, that's how it works. Other water molecules <laughs> clinging to water, water molecules make, make wet. it wet. No, that bro. doesn't make sense. All right. On that note, the wicked witch of the West, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna sit here and tell me that I'm wrong? <laughs> On that note, thank you all for listening in this week. Uh, if you would like to, bleh. okay, Garrett, you you, okay. you continue. <laughs> thank you all so much for tuning into this week's episode of the podcast. And on the note of water being wet, why? <laughs> what is the secret word? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that you put How about there. you just tell us if, if water is wet or not down in the comments below this week. No, secret word is watermelon. <laughs> secret word is watermelon. You heard it here first. Watermelon is wet. <laughs> watermelon, watermelon is wet. Is wet. <laughs> um, all right, guys. We'll see you next right, week. Pictures of Spider-Man's watermelon. <laughs> Bye.